And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 18, Mind Games. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and we are playing World of Anarchy 2. It is a map by Paradox. And this is an updated version of the map. I think when he originally released it for the jam, there were some bugs that needed to be figured out. So it's going to be a bit more polished, I think, than some of the other jam maps, but uh, I figured I should nevertheless include it in the series. Just because it was originally released as a jam map. Complete the monument, yada, 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 do not leave. Okay, so some uh, background information. I've actually already recorded this first episode once, but the audio was messed up, so I'm having to do it again. So I already have a good clue as far as, you know, what, what to expect and whatnot. Uh, I forget what this book says. There's lots of stuff. Yeah, he pretty much says, you know, he... Well, first of all, thank you to all these people, Tiwi and Noah and... Uh, KVT and everybody else, <clears throat> but um, the map is somewhat RNG based, meaning that it can be based based on luck, pretty much. There are different difficulty versions. We, of course, are going to be playing on a hard difficulty. That gives us three lives. I think if we die more than three times, then it's game over. I'm going to disable multiplayer settings. And it also, like, we get some kind of punishment if we die. I forget exactly what that is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Eventually, it is still an open beta, so there's still bound to be some things that are broken with it. And it is pretty much just, uh, well, if you see my Monumenta series and you've seen me play the roguelike dungeons, that's what this is, pretty much. It's pretty much just Monumenta roguelike, except for on its own, and its own map. And if you recall, I was not really a huge fan of the roguelike in Monumenta. A lot of things with it that I didn't really care for very much. But uh, I, I think now if I were to play it, I would probably enjoy it a bit more, since they've they fixed a lot of a lot of the things that I, I, that I didn't really like. Like the timer and how random it was at times but uh i i really don't expect to like this map <laughs> very much simply because it is it is like that roguelike so I, I i really like the idea of roguelike in fact the modded series that i'm playing right now that's all it is really roguelike dungeons along with some other dimensions like twilight forest and ether but uh I don't know. The the way that it works in Monumenta and the way that it works in this map, I'm just not really a big fan of. Uh, I'm already talking crap about the map, even though we haven't even gotten into it. I, I'm going to try my best to enjoy it, but like I said, I already recorded one episode and was kind of kind of getting the same same feeling that I got in Monumenta. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I think there are some slightly different mechanics definitely challenging it's pretty pretty hard at least what i experienced at least we have that to look forward to let's go ahead and make ourselves some basic tools uh oh what else what else there is there's a trading mechanic there's well there's a lot of things that we will eventually discover i'm sure but uh yeah i do want to apologize for how few vid videos i've how few videos I've put out lately. Does that sentence make sense? I think it makes sense. I'm still a little tired. Got back from the vacation that my wife and I went on. We went to the beach just for a couple of days. Uh, well, actually to San Luis Obispo, the Central Coast. Um, ate a lot, but man, my allergies. And I, I, I really don't have a lot of problems with allergies very much. Maybe in my life I've had like five... Six, half a dozen really bad uh, allergic responses to things. There's nothing up the top of that waterfall, I don't think. I checked up there the first time, and I didn't see it. Mainly, it seems to be, like, where I live, there's a lot of almond trees. And whenever they shake the almond trees, the uh, pollen and dust and stuff that gets kicked up into the atmosphere tends to have a big impact on me. Uh, this, this is the bonus monument. There are various weapons that we can find in chests throughout the map. Definitely keep an eye out for those. But yeah, man, and it's weird because usually going to the beach, like the air is much cleaner. 
but as soon as I stepped out of the car, like, I just, like, my eyes were itching, my face was itching, I, I didn't sleep very well, so I'm a little, a little tired at this point. Uh, welcome, yeah, this is the waiting room, we just want to go ahead and generate this. This room seems so familiar to me. I think that there's a room like this in Ragecraft 3. I'm not sure, and that, that lamp looks very familiar to me as well. I'm not really sure... But yeah, what I what I'm what I'm remembering here. Putting rooms, this may lag a bit. Okay, so this is the central hub of floor one. Luck bonus minus five. Laid out almost exactly like Monumenta. Uh, there's info boxes. I forget what's in there exactly. I don't know what this is supposed to do. It just says unusable slot. Trying to put items in the slot will delete. But I wonder, like, can I do this? Yeah. I don't know what that's all about. Hang out there, guy. We have a repair station. Pretty much, if you want to know how all this stuff works, just go watch my Monumenta series. We have a lost merchant. We can get coal. We can get wood. We can get bread. We can get arrows. We can get a cobalt spell blade. Vampiric cloak. Robes of the muse. So skeleton mask, yada yada yada, there is a dungeon map, uh, and you can see we are in the central room at this point. I'm still, there are still some things I'm a little confused about, but hopefully we'll figure it out as we go. We have some basic gear and armor, food. I know when I played last time, I, I had some issues with food, like I ran out of food really quickly and was having to grind out zombie flesh and whatnot. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh. Thing. Oh. Look at that. Got three crystals right off the bat. That probably would have helped me not get so hungry last time. So let's go ahead and grab some bread. Grab some arrows. Uh, what else do I want? I want... Yeah, I guess we'll take some coal too. We're gonna make ourselves a number of torches. Like a so. Bum, bum, bum. We have bad, bad luck. Bad, bad. Uh, and then each one of these leads to a different pool, is what it says. Again, I'm, I'm a little confused about that. What else was it? There's this room, which I think takes us to the next floor. You can only escape if you've broken the four seals. Last time, I only managed to break one seal. This may end up being a long series. We'll just have to wait and see, though. I think I chose yellow last time. The wool dungeon, cyan wool. I, I'm not sure if there's a specific order that we're supposed to in. Green wool and light blue. Uh, sure, let's go this way. I see... Lapis. And they hit hard. Pretty much every mob that I encountered was doing about three hearts per shot. Oh, that's the other thing is, and I don't know why this is the case, but uh, we have we have night vision. Why do we have night vision? It's really annoying. I'm not a fan. I don't know why we have it. I'm not sure if we're supposed to have it, but we have it. Lapis Dude's Ashen Miner. Like something out of Dark Souls. Damage potions. I think they may also give us slowness. What that is. You guys are tough. Can we get some more light down pretty pretty please? Gosh. Back it up, back it up, back it up. We got lots of lapis and coal here, which is no. Oh. Like that, probably already been set off. We need to make ourselves a pick. At all possible here. Or not a pick, a bow. I don't know how I got pick in my mind there. Cannot jump. Cannot jump. Oh, these guys do look kind of freaky. Say. I also ran into this problem where, because of the proximity of spawners, 
I was I was having problem actually making progress. It seems to be slowness because they just build up too quickly. You can't really make progress. We're gonna we're gonna try our best. Try our best. Here's Skelly. Um, string for us. And do that. Block that off so that they can't get to us. Some blocks. For goodies. You probably want to be heading up there, I assume. Still investigate. Nobody's going to sneak up behind us or anything. We light up all the things. You also get these phantom spawner particles. Which I think look pretty cool actually, but they can kind of trick you into thinking that there's a spawner around when there really isn't. Um, okay, I see. This is supposed to be a path to another area, but not actually a path to another area. That was one of my main complaints about Monumenta, is you would often come to a path that was blocked off. I think at one point I came across like seven doors in a row that were all blocked off. And... Yeah, that's pretty frustrating, especially because it was timed. Uh, let's do that. Let's see here. I don't think I see... Anybody here, do I? There is a skelly there. Go ahead and take you out. Check the fern eye. You got nothing there. There's a bed and a cauldron. Uh, let me do something like that. Look at that. Look at that. Lock it off. One of the thorn spiders, I think. Cobalt spiked spider. Interesting. I also noticed that a lot of the chests are like hidden behind walls, and so they're hard to see sometimes. <clears throat> Mapis. Blocks. Efficiency pick. And a strength potion. Lots of guys. Probably sure where they're coming from. I think that should prevent the spider from getting to us. As well as any other mobs. That may want to track us here. But uh the the dungeon kind of feels like like minimalist or austerity. Which I was, I was not really a big fan of. A lot of people seem to like those maps, but I don't like how cramped they feel. How areas seem very similar to one another. Probably try to get some light down there. Low on health. Uh, do that. Can I really not reach either one of them. Well, these thorn spiders are super annoying. Wow. I do need the string. How much string do we have? We have enough to be able to make a bow now, so let's go ahead and do that. Like a so. That should make things a little easier on us. We can make four more arrows. Go to make some more torches as well. Eat all the foods. Where are we at? Where are we at, anyways? Oh, right there. I'm not really sure how to make sense of the layout. Or what the colors mean. I think 
Wait, so does that mean that you can you can get any of the wolves? I'm gonna I'm gonna quit playing just because of these stupid spiders here. Once again, there's an issue with um, sharpness of contact, where the mobs build up too quickly for the player to be able to make progress, and the spiders compound that so much because they're dealing so much damage to you that you then have to wait and regen, and then more mobs build up, and it's just this never-ending cycle of killing mobs and regenerating health. Stuff. Can I make another wall there? I don't think I can reach that quite yet. I need to take out Mr. Spiders. Alright. Uh, look. That's it. That's it. Here they come. Of course. Uh, can we block that off, perhaps? But yeah, so I, I don't know if I ever completed this thought, but... Do we, like, choose a rule for each floor, and each rule is themed a certain way? That means that you could potentially have, like, a really... <clears throat> A really easy yellow wool because it's the first floor, or if you save yellow to the end, it ends up being really hard. I'm a little uncertain how that all works. Light it up. May get some guys falling on our heads here. That. We have another dead end. Tons of mobs in that direction. I can't believe this sword is already about to. already halfway done. That is pretty insane. Is there nothing here? There's lots of, lots of mobs around, but where are they at? Sounds like they're that direction. Guess we're coming right here then. Are there no caps on the mob spawners? It's hard to tell if that's the case or if it's simply that they've been able to build up from multiple spawners. this gold sword is unbreakable. Probably what we want to use here. Oh, okay. And yeah, this, this is another reason why I don't like these types of dungeons. I, mean, I actually do like hallways. But maps that consist of nothing but hallways, it just gets really tedious after a while. I like to, like, run and jump and stuff, and these types of dungeons just don't really allow for that. You can certainly try, but when mobs are doing three hearts per shot, so you're going to get killed very quickly. Pick up all the things. Let's go ahead and... Consolidate these guys. Those. So that is a phantom spawner. Want to block off that guy. Come on, Mr. Spider. 
more blocks down so they can't track us over here. Dang it. Light camera action. Honor is behind that block there. Oh, get all the light down. Get all the light down. Slow down the spawns. So I'm guessing these instant damage potions also heal them ever so slightly, which is why they're taking so long to kill, especially when they're in large groups like that. That may not be the case, but... Boy, that's my assumption. Gosh, they a ton of damage. Away. Go away, everybody. Okay, okay, we're running away. We're running away. We're running away. Can I eat yet? Please, please, please. Dropped another sword for us. I'm not sure if we can combine items. Assuming we can. Gonna do something like that. A smite two sword. Yes, please. Very much. Right, once again, uh, if you didn't watch my channel update video, I've had to play around with lots of settings. And are we just now making it to the next room? I had to play around with settings on my recording thing, so uh, <clears throat> be sure to let me know if audio sounds okay, if video looks okay. All that lovely stuff. Definitely another spider around here. Where though? Up above? Spawned on the other side or something? Oh, you guys, you. Yeah, I don't know. This kind of looks like the room that I left off in and the first time I tried to record. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay. Have to wait. Then the kick. One. Uh, two. Uh, Dig our way over to the chest so that we can access it. Leaves. Not sure where he came from. Kind of scares me though. What is that food? Apples. Those boots are all right. Can make some more more arrows as well. First of all, I have Noah's power fist. Definitely want that guy. Protection one. Yes, please. Protection one. Protection one. Same thing. Those are projectile protection three, and they have depth strider. Gonna be useful here, I think. Uh, man, a lot of stuff here. Well, surprisingly, I'm not seeing too many spiders tracking me at this point. I forget that they have knockback resistance. Another phantom spawner there. Quite, quite annoying, I must say. Hello. Baby dude. You're dead now. Silver fishies. Got it. 
like maybe there's something down here? Yes, indeed. That. Although it doesn't look like anything that's going to be too helpful. Vintage wine. It'll give us a luck boost. Efficiency wooden axe. Go ahead and make ourselves some more arrows. Some more torches as well. Low on coal. I really need that axe. I guess we'll take it. Why not? Oh, I thought this pick said un. I think it said unbreaking, like as in just a normal enchant. Un I was thinking unbreakable, like the sword is. Not the case here. He upsets me. Alright, let's get our health back up. Have we gone around in a circle? We've done. Where are we? Right there. Oops. Uh, okay. Hallway looks suspicious to me. Ooh, that appears to be a new room. I don't think this is one I've ever been to. End stone themed. Stuff. See something that appears to be on fire. Let's see here. Hopefully we might have a better weapon, but it doesn't look like it. Not sure if those guys are broken or they're just not spawning or what. Not a real spawner. That is not a real spawner. That is a real spawner. Flame guys. Got caught up in the ceiling there. Long though, not for long. Wanna back it up. Uh let's see. I know that we can dig through right here and it'll it'll take us to that other room. Webs are getting on my nerves. Need to regen some health. Oh, regen all of the healths. I hear a spider, I think, above me. Is that the case? What are you at? So many of the phantom spawners. Not entirely sure what that is. Or what the significance is. It looks pretty terrifying though. Definitely say that much. Lots of wood for us here if we want it. Take it out. Out. Eat all the foods. <clears throat> I'm liking I'm liking this area. I think more than the uh, the previous two areas. Feels a bit more open. Not just a bunch of hallways. See a chest up top. I think there's a spider above us. Sounds a bit. Grab that chest.
More potions. Um, okay. Oh, I don't need that much. That much zombie flesh. Then. Wouldn't do that. More luck. Probably should have taken the luck potion prior to opening the chest there. I think it impacts what loot. Got it good. Oops. Okay, okay, run away, run away, run away. Stop dancing. Stop dancing, guy. Thank you. Thank you. I like there's a lot of guys like above me. Try to stay out of range of both of the spawners. Here a spider over there. Another doorway. I think that that might be one of the seals. For you, probably be a good place to end the video. It looks like we've been playing for a little more than 27 minutes. So, you want to investigate this direction though, just to make sure that we've gotten everything that we can. Some string, okay. Yeah, I think these these mark rooms with the seals in them. So this is a little different than the Monumenta stuff. Panic. Death. That way. Vanity. Vanity is in that direction, and it's blocked off. That is fantastic. Info box. Luck, chests, and merchants. Uh, we can read one of these, I suppose. After exploring the dungeon, you may be wondering how loot works. Having opened a few chests, there are two chests per room. One is usually more hidden than the other. Look carefully. The loot you get is determined on your luck total. The higher it is, the better loot you can receive. To increase your luck, you can do one or more of these things. <clears throat> each floor you complete removes one level of bad luck from all players. As such, each floor you complete gives you plus one luck. Vintage wine, that will increase our luck. There's luck gear. If your luck is higher, you can find new items as well as increase your chance to find uncommon items. Each room has a specific biome it relates to. Each biome has three uncommon items you can find in it. Two gear items and one potion. Okay. Uh, very nice. Let's see what Mr. Merchant has to sell. Lost Merchant, he will give us leather. Uh, of oven dying. I right told him it isn't gold, but it conducts huh? similar energy. I'm not entirely sure what that means. A rusty shield. Huh? Wine. Item slag armor. Place this item and attack it. See uh -huh. item of this type. Quality of the item depends on your luck total. What do I want? Huh? Probably. Huh? You get shields, bows, and. Demonic Artifact. Well, that sounds pretty cool. We only have three of the crystals, though. Uh, alright. Is there anything worth getting here? Maybe a shield. Oh. I think I'll probably just hold off on that. This is the seal right here. Break the seal then. I think we're probably going to be heading in that direction next. I think it's four seals per floor and there's, what, four floors? Yeah, this is going to be a long, long series. I I don't know if 
I don't know if I'll end up finishing or not. <coughs> I was starting to have fun there in this last room. But the first two rooms were pretty... Pretty annoying, especially that first room. Uh... I don't know, we'll we'll see how it goes. A lot, a lot of cool things happening. It's just it's just not really <clears throat> doesn't really appeal to me all that much. Um, anyways, you guys, that's gonna be it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. <laughs>